Was Meghan's speech a subtle dig at her dad? Duchess describes how part-time jobs and scholarships helped her pay her way through university as she discusses the importance of girls' education in Fiji. Meghan delivered a passionate speech on the importance of girls' education in Fiji today, explaining how scholarships helped her attend university. The Duchess of Sussex, 37 gave her second speech as a member of the royal family while visiting the University of the South Pacific in Suva. Addressing students, she explained how earnings from a job she had on campus at Northwestern University went directly towards my tuition. It comes after her father Thomas Markle has previously claimed in interviews that he paid for his daughter's education. Speaking in Fiji today, Megan said, as a university graduate, I know the personal feeling of pride and excitement that comes with attending university. From the moment you receive your acceptance letter, to the exams you spend countless late nights studying for, the lifelong friendships you make with your fellow alumni, and the moment you receive your diploma, she continued, I am also fully aware of the challenges of being able to afford this level of schooling for many people around the world, myself included. It was through scholarships financial aid programs and work-study where my earnings from a job on campus went directly towards my tuition, that I was able to attend university. And, without question, it was worth every effort. Thomas Markle have previously spoken about how he paid for Meghan's $30,000, £23,000 a year tuition at Northwestern University Illinois, with $750,000 winnings from a lottery. In an interview with the Daily Mail, he said, when Megan was 11, she moved back in with me up until she was 17 and went to college. I was having my good years then, making good money, and could afford to give her the best, with a good school, good education, good home. She became the woman that she is today thanks to everything I did for her. Royal fans quickly took to Twitter to question whether Megan's remarks were a reference to her father's claims that he paid for her education. One wrote, did Meghan just clap back to her liar sister and disgraceful father in that speech without even mentioning their names? Another added, she did just that. With such a talent and grace, too. Meghan went on to speak about the importance for girls to be able to access education around the world, explaining, everyone should be afforded the opportunity to receive the education they want, but more importantly the education they have the right to receive. And for women and girls in developing countries, this is vital. Providing them with access to education is the key to economic and social development. Because when girls are given the right tools to succeed, they can create incredible futures, not only for themselves but also for those around them. This is the second speech that Meghan has given in public as a member of the royal family, after addressing guests at the launch of her charity cookbook at Kensington Palace last month. This time, the Duchess used notes as she took to the stage at the University of the South Pacific, beginning with the Fiji greeting Beulah. The speech proved just how confident Meghan is as a public speaker, as well as how keen she is to highlight issues that are important to her. The former actress previously spoke about gender equality at a UN conference in 2015, before her relationship with Prince Harry. Meghan's first public speeches have come just months after her wedding, and suggests she may adopt a similar public role to former First Lady Michelle Obama, who, along with husband Barack, enjoys a close friendship with Harry. The Duchess of Cambridge's first public speech came nearly a year after she married Prince William, during a visit to East Anglia Children's Hospices, EACH, in 2012. 